Hello everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand week. Uh, so this is my take on the new Firewatch Tower that dropped on the App Store in the last update. It is a very, very cool little prefab. I decided to do this as a full tour rather than a build video because even though the, like, the overall structure I'm really pleased with, ostensibly the actual building was some stuff I've done before. So I wanted to give you the kind of end picture rather than just going through steps that I've done at least five or six times in other videos. But it's a really good one. It's available on the App Store for 700 atoms. Uh, I think they have about a three week life cycle. This video is a few days later than than I was intending, but basically it should be available for two more weeks if you haven't picked up. And it's not part of a bundle, so you can just pick it up separately, which is quite nice. So firstly, where are we? We are just in the Toxic Valley. I don't build here very often. I need to do a bit of a search for some more decent spots, to be honest, because I feel the Toxic Valley needs some love. Uh, but this one blends in quite well, because we're right next to the Pioneer Scout Camp, and it's got its own tower there. So I like to think this is just part of the camp, and we've just decided to kind of reinforce it. It also comes with an NPC uh, who's just spying, doing a bit of voyeurism, as as he, as he we all want to do. Uh, and so uh, he kind of vibes with the, the watching. He, there's a watchtower, he's watching, it all works. Uh, so let's pop inside. Well, let's give you the tour for the outside first. I do like my junk walls. I mean, I, this is pretty much a given now. It's probably why I didn't decide to show you the build part. It's like, oh, Davey's building junk walls again. <laughs> Forever. That, that That's it, you're all just stuck here now. I do like a good junk wall. What I like about the Watchtower is it's a, it's damaged. Not too damaged, but a little bit damaged. You know, it's it's definitely it's definitely an abandoned Watchtower as opposed to, you know, just some kind of either very, very super clean, scrappy structure or something a bit too damaged, which wouldn't be very serviceable. So it's basically, it's rugged, it's, it's done its time and it blends in really nicely. Uh, what I like about it as well, and a lot of people did ask this, is whether you can actually build underneath. Uh, this is uncharacteristic for Bethesda. Um, in fact, normally they do these prefabs, they tend to not really think about whether you can put things inside them very easily. This one is really easy. I had no issues. The only issues were putting stuff actually on the glass, which to be fair, it is fair. It isn't really something you're meant to hang stuff on. But in terms of the underneath here, as you can see, I was able to kind of quite easily stick stuff on the side to make it look a bit more reinforced and I had no issues whatsoever building stuff under here too. So basically if you were curious about whether you can put stuff in here, you absolutely can. Which means assuming you didn't have anything like stairs, you could probably just turn this into one blueprint that you could just slap down, which is quite grand. It looks very, very tasty. What I like about this as well is um I mean I've mentioned this before, but I really do like smaller cramped camps I just it's my preference you know both in video games and real life I like things cluttered and I like things busy and this definitely fits that quite nicely I could have probably put some more decorations in there but I was getting the good weather I was like right either I wait another 20 minutes um but yeah it's nice I like it I said the one thing I didn't mention is the windows so I've, I've opted to put boards and I put a shelf and stuff over um you will struggle for example I couldn't funny enough I couldn't pin that to a board I could actually have I actually had to have it on the window so the one criticism would be that maybe you might feel as if it doesn't have as much wall decoration but again that's more me just being overly critical um I quite like how it works out and even though these kind of walkways are quite tight you can squeeze stuff in so really I could have probably decorated this a bit more uh, and made it a bit busier um, but it's a nice one one little thing I dislike and I don't know why they keep doing this um is I can't put the the curtain door there and I can't even use the the, the the element where you replace the door with a new one you place one down then you replace it I don't know why that is I don't know why but there's just seems to hate that curtain door which is a shame because it doesn't fit on many of the prefabs which is a real shame because I felt it would really have suited there but oh well I'm mildly depressed about it but not too much but yeah it, it's quite a good one this um, there is another item on the app store that dropped if you're watching this video live um, in the last week, which is a bandstand. I'm be playing with that because I think I can make some cool little rustic sharks and things out of it. Uh, but that'll be a separate video. I was tempted to put it down, but I want to. I want to spread that out and put that in something else. Let's get a get a different angle up here. I do. I feel the toxic valley does not get as much love. It's nice. It's got a gorgeous view this area. As well, look at that. I just a warning: if you do choose this spot, you might sometimes spawn down down the mountain um, to the point where you need to pay attention because I nearly ran off it uh, earlier. So anyway, I hope you guys liked that. Gave you a few ideas. I said highly recommend it if you've been on the fence of this one. It's a decent prefab as far as prefabs go, and a good watch tower is always nice. Get a little bit of elevation. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a um, a set piece for the camp, which I always appreciate. 
Um, we're going to have more videos up next, this week, in fact. So, um, February's a quite a busy week for video game. Busy week? Busy month, David. A busy month for gaming. One of the big ones is Elden Ring, which I'm really excited about. Um, exceedingly so. I'm hopefully <laughs> going to have video up this week. Um, so I've been... I've never actually gotten around to playing through it properly. So I've been playing through Dark Souls 3, which is possibly why this video is a little bit delayed. Um, and I've nearly finished the game, uh, the base game, obviously. And I've just got onto the Nameless King. If you know who that is, you'll be like, oh, if you don't, that'll mean nothing to you. But basically, he's the hardest boss in the... Or believed to be the hardest boss in the base game. And I've been recording my attempts at him. Now, I've nearly got him down completely. Uh, I basically can do stage one without actually getting touched at all. I'm a Glaive user, uh, Faith but Glaive user, so it's quite easily. Second stage, eh, uh, because I can't get the timing for attacks very well, but I've nearly done it. So hopefully this week you'll have a video of me doing it. Reason being is because I really personally like watching people take down bosses in games like Dark Souls. I think it's just fascinating because everyone uses a different build, so you get to see how someone tackles it. The reason being is I'm thinking of making quite a little kind of chill series in Elden Ring, where because I'm going to be completing the game, I want to record each of my boss runs. Uh, I'll just make a point of just having OBS open whenever I get to a boss, hit and record, to the point of using a, you know, a Homeward Bone or whatever it's going to be called in Elden Ring, so I can go back to the, the latest camp so I can show it to you properly. So, it might be a series that pops up. Obviously, it won't, don't worry, it won't impact the videos, because I'll be just doing it in my free time, and it won't have any narration other than an introduction from me at the start. Um, so, just vibes, if you just want to see me struggle through all the bosses in Elden Ring. And also in the Nameless King, because I, I want to do the Nameless King one as well, because it sort of, you know, puts my credentials to the table that I'm not terrible at these games, if not particularly amazing. Anywho, um, I'm also going to try and stream. Apologize, uh, apologies for dropping the streams off a little bit. I've just been busy and honestly just not vibing with the games I want to stream uh, very much. But I will jump back into it soon, I promise. Anywho, I love you all. As always, follow me on the Twitters. Uh, no respawns. Get excited because obviously you've got Ghostwire coming up as well. Starfield's coming up this year. I think in a couple of months we're actually going to start getting more footage of Starfield, especially. I can feel the hype building. Anyway, I'll leave you be and you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.